AJ, how are you? Uh, how are you feeling? Frank seems to give good uh, reports on your progress. How are? <laughs> what are your thoughts on your progress? Uh, I feel like I've been healing very quickly. I've been getting day, be, getting better day by day, and I'm just thankful. And I'm trying to get on the court as much as I can, do more things, and as the day goes on, I'll just see how it goes. I guess for any of y'all, I think Frank said you got two days off after the Georgia game. Just how did you feel that time? Um, how nice was it to kind of get a little bit of a break? And what did y'all do to, to occupy your time with no class? Uh, rest. You know, um, that's a, a precious time, especially because uh, we showed on players. So resting and uh, uh, rest our legs and recovering. Go to our hotel, whatever we we need to do to uh, recover our bodies. Yeah, Fortnite. <laughs> Fortnite, a little Fortnite. Maybe a little bit. Fortnite. Fortnite. <laughs> nah, I think uh, for me uh, and a couple other guys, we just kind of reflected on, you know, how we've done, you know, throughout the season and the obstacles we faced, and we're just looking forward to going into the SEC tournament. AJ, oh. what's what's this kind of been like for you? Uh, you know, being out these last few games, having to sort of sit out, and watch these games. Did you, uh, especially when you were kind of sort of, it seemed like you were peaking in your freshman year. Uh, it just made me more determined to get better and get back on the court. I, right now, I'm just thinking about day by day getting better and better. When I'm on that court, I want to show my best and be 100% be out there and, and help my team out. Hassani, what did it mean to you to get, get the six man award? Obviously, there were a couple of other guys who were uh, really good as well in that role. Uh, what does it mean to you to come, come to that point? Uh, it just means a lot, man. Uh, and it just shows, you know, the the plan that Frank had, because um, I, I remember in the beginning of the season, you know, you guys were asking me how do I feel coming off the bench and all that, and I said it the whole time, you know, Frank has a plan and I'm just sticking to whatever it is that you know he asked me, and uh, I mean it paid out, and it, it feels good to get that recognition. For all, you, for all three of you, but especially Hassan and Chris, because you guys have been through that post-Christmas practice before. they Frank talked about how that one this particular year was kind of a, seemed like a turning point where you guys were coming off a four game losing mm -hmm. streak. He gave you off like three days and you came back with a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of energy. What has that practice been like in previous years? What was that like this year? Did you guys kind of come out of it and say, man, that was, that was pretty good, we're gonna be all right? Uh, I would say uh, over the time that I've been here, um, I, I mean, we were in a better position at that point of the year. Um, so this year, whenever that practice, you know, coming back from the break, the break allowed us to like really kind of like what I just said for these off days, we're like reflect on what, you know, what we're doing wrong, what we're doing right, and how can we, you know, become a better team chemistry wise, you know, just performing better on the court. And I think when we came back from that break, you know, we all just collectively just put all the effort into it and, you know, turn things around. Yeah, kind of the same thing. We was locked in and uh, we was ready for the next phase of the season. So everybody uh, came to practice with a great enthusiasm. And that's pretty much it. What about you, AJ? Uh, for yeah. me, I was just resting my body. So when I came back for that practice, I had a lot of energy and just like a, like all the other guys, we came back ready and ready for the next game. That's why we, I think that break was good for us. Uh, Hassani and Chris, now that you've been through a, a couple of SEC tournaments, what do you think separates you know teams that that can play like those you know three games in three days, four games in four days sometimes, and those maybe that that get bounced a little early? Uh, just just maintaining focus and making sure that you execute the game plan. Um, around this time of the year, everybody's tired, body's fatigued and stuff. So for us, it's, you know, it feels really good to have these days off and, and have that extra energy boost that we will have with the <clears> double <throat> bye. Um, but just, like I said, just making sure, you know, you just do his ass so that we can, you know, come out with the win uh, on the neutral site. Uh, basic, uh, basically, this time of the year, like Sunny said, everybody's tired. So, uh, well, Whichever team uh, find the courage and, and the discipline to like execute and uh, uh, play by play is the ones that's gonna uh, win the game at this time of the year. So, AJ, I think since you've gone out, Keyshawn's play is, has 
kind of he's taking a step up. It seems like with making up for Athens's things of that nature. Mm -hmm. Your I think your roommates with him, right? Yeah. Um, how has he handled this whole season? I know he had like a little two three game stretch there where it looked like he was kind of hitting that freshman wall. And now he's kind of gone the other direction. What has Keyshawn been like <laughs> this last month or so? Why do you think he's he's been playing better as the season's gone forward? Uh, a lot of encouragement. Like, everyone's been encouraging him, me, the teammates, coaches, to step up and get a bigger role. Especially when I'm out, he came up in the big time. Uh, this month, I feel like he got more confidence and he's doing more things for the team to help us win and just doing everything that's, that the coaches asked for him. Chris, if it is Auburn that you play on Friday, uh, that's a team that you guys have had success against, you particularly. Um, I think Wiley was, was out the last game. I don't know if he's going to play this week. Why do you think you've had uh, your success there? Why does this team match up well against a team like Auburn? The, I guess the, the, the type of player they, they have on the court is uh, uh, like matching up with us. They got like uh, kind of short guards. Uh, a couple guys play bigs, and like they got uh, the bigs is not like that tall. So I find my way to the rims uh, pretty. Like my, my teammates try to find me every time because of, of the mismatch, and um, try to use my athleticism on that point too. But I, the way they play allow me to like be aggressive and to get open down low. And um, during those games, I guess my teammates just passing me the ball.